Hi guys, it's Nathan. Um, this is just a quick video on how you can add X intent surveys onto your website um, using Notifier. Um, so essentially, X intent surveys are only going to be triggered um, when when a prospect goes to exit the website. So this is just a, a sort of really gold period for us to collect sort of feedback because we can find out exactly why they aren't converting. Um, Perhaps they felt it was too expensive. Perhaps they felt there were tools missing. We didn't understand the product or um, or, or what it is that you're trying to offer. Um, and once we collect about a hundred sort of survey responses, um, we have like there's some really good information that, that we can then use in our conversion rate optimization strategy. Um, so this is the existing template that I build. They're the questions I ask most frequently. Um, so it either says, I don't understand it, I don't need the product, I'm not convinced it works, it's too expensive, I want to think about it, we'll explore this in future, or I need more information. And each of these points is just just really um, sort of vital information, you know. If someone's saying they don't understand it, then you know that you have a communication problem. Um, if they're saying, I don't need it, then it means that you're pushing from you're pushing like incorrect prospects from your either in your ads targeting or, or whatever you, wherever you're pushing the traffic from um if they're not convinced the product works perhaps you need to invest more into doing like reviews case studies um and, and videos of seeing your product in action um if it's too expensive if you're getting this very frequently perhaps you want to explore some price points um compared to other competitors in, in the market um I want to think about it, of course, so there's not too much we can do. We can collect an email from them on the next page and just sort of follow up with them in the future, um, perhaps adding them into an email automation sequence. Um, we're actually working on another widget as well that will allow, if someone says, um, I want to think about it, we'll allow them to schedule a time in your diary um, somewhere further down the line in the future. Um, again, this applies here as well. Or if I need more information on the next page, um, the X intent survey will collect an email address so um so you'll be able to follow up with the prospect um these are all completely customizable though i just thought i'd give you my sort of top seven options that, that i like to use um i'd suggest hiding this on mobile um and we're going to choose to show on url contains features um so we're just going to display this on our features page and we use x intent as the trigger display in the center of the page i want to send the data to nathan at notifier.io we could use webhooks and put in a spreadsheet, but I'll just keep it simple for now. Save and launch. Okay, so that is now live. If we refresh the page. And we should be good to go. There we go. Exit intent survey is now triggered. So as I go to as I go to abandon the website. Um, I can then choose from, from the options um, of which one applies to me. And yeah, that is um, how to install the X Intent survey on your website in probably two minutes. Um, this is probably my favorite, maybe second favorite actually, my second favorite growth tool um, using feedback off this survey. I tripled our conversion rate on Notifier um, because I found that 50% of people said that they didn't understand the product. Um, or they needed more information. So this just instantly told me that we had a communication issue um, in terms of the copy and how we were explaining Notifier. So based on this feedback, I um, I completely re rewrote our website. Um, and yeah, it, it, it we received, um, we, we tripled our conversion rate based on feedback from, from this survey. So um, I'm, I'm now like constantly just deploying surveys, particularly on, um, sort of high value pages that we have for example on the checkout page um obviously landing pages are very important um if we're using sort of funnels um and pushing a lot of traffic into specific like lead pages and squeeze pages and things like that then um i would definitely use x intent surveys because this is only going to show to the people who haven't taken your desired action it's only going to show to people who, who are exiting the funnel um so it's, it's just very sort of vital information to know why it is that they decided not to not to convert today. And then you can just constantly make improvements and it's a very easy sort of feedback um, loop. So another way to use this would also be to, to send over the responses into like Airtable or Google Sheets or something and rate them by percentages on what you receive the most. And um, yeah, and then basically you, you can use this feedback to um, 
to drive conversions and even like even if you didn't want to use it from a conversion rate optimization standpoint and just wanted to get feedback from from your users on, on where it is they're coming from what it is they're doing um of course it can be used for that as well but i'm quite heavily focused on conversion rate optimization at the moment so that's how i've been been using it but um yeah thanks for watching if you have any feedback or need a hand um, setting anything up or with customization or anything um leave a comment and i'll be happy to help thank you